the Leon County Sheriff's Office is getting support from the community following their anatomy of homicide report. Yeah, it was released last week and examines homicides of the county over the last five years. ABC 27's Jada Williams tells us what community leaders are pledging to prevent the cycle of crime. Putting an end to gun violence. It's the topic of Leon County Sheriff's Office and Florida Sheriff's Association's anatomy of a homicide study. It's also a personal matter for Tallahassee Urban League President Curtis Taylor. Just three weeks ago, believe it or not, my granddaughter was shot. And praise God, she survived. Taylor says just out the Urban League window is a community in peril. All around us, we have victims of gun violence. All around us, we have drug dealing. Now Taylor is calling for a change. I've already reached out to the mayor to see can we beef up our police force at the public housing site. I've already talked, reached out to HUD about can we change the density of public housing. The Anatomy of Homicide report requested by Sheriff Walt McNeil revealed at least 141 homicides in Leon County in the last five years. 35% of those homicides took place in the 32304 zip code, and the majority of the suspects are young African American men. It's troubling, it's gripping, uh, it tears at the heart. With such strong initial emotions, Leon County Commission Chairman Bill Proctor says it's time for the County Commission to put policies focused directly on crime on the table. From the data that we have from the sheriff, policy recommendations, what do we do programmatically that can bring relief, assistance, aid, support to uh, the problems as have been identified. The report establishes many solutions, but one that Commissioner Proctor wants to propose immediately is a Leon County Commission on the status of men and boys. While Curtis Taylor believes the other key to change is by stepping up as neighbors. We might save our own son or daughter or ourselves uh, if we are willing to step up to the plate. That was Jada Williams reporting and Chairman Proctor plans to address the report at the next county commission meeting. The Urban League will hold a news conference at its Unity in the Community event December 11th to inspire change on the ground. Another key finding from the report, criminal, go back, criminal background of the people arrested. The report found half those arrested committed their first crime before the age of 12. So young. 67% of those involved reported being arrested for the first time at the age of 18 or younger. The sheriff's office says this information helps show law enforcement opportunities to turn things around before they go too far. You can read that entire report. It's 90 some pages long at WTXL.TV.